insects are necessary. And now I, I heard, after every year you need to update the insect, uh, update the pesticides. Because the now insects are getting habituated to live with the <laughs> pesticides. The same pesticide if you use for next year, they start eating and start living happily with that. They are not dead. So you need to increase the dosage. Same way, in those days, just half an hour, 10 minutes meditation techniques are enough. The insects inside your beings are dead. But now you have become master of <laughs> small doses. You see, you have mastered even Buddhas. Even Buddha could do nothing to you. Even those techniques could do nothing to you. Now I have to come up with an ultimate, uh, what to say, ultimate weapons to destroy the insects in you. That is why we have to do such an intense work. So much of unnecessary toxins and mental structures are created in you because of this consumeristic society and the new modern day social standards because of this so much has accumulated already. So naturally I have to do my work intensely. The cleansing process also becomes too complicated. That is the reason I have to do the so called torturing for continuous four days. And one more thing, it is not that I make you sit and I go away and sleep. I also sit here with you. At least you can sleep once in a while when I give this course. I can't even do that. <laughs> At least once in, once in 10 minutes you can do this. I can't even do that much. So you are sure it is much big work for me than for you. Even then I am doing because it will tremendously help you. It will help you. If I just say, all right, it is already 6 o'clock in the evening, you can go and rest. All of you will be really happy. None of you are going to feel, oh, some technique Swami has not done, one meditation we have not done. You, because you do not even know how many techniques we are going to do. You do not even know what we are going to do. All of you know only one, seven bodies we are going to work. You do not know how many techniques we are going to do. If I suddenly say, all right, it is 6 o'clock in the evening, let us go and sleep. Then what will you all think? Oh, Swami is really great. <laughs> we are very happy. You do not even know. You will not even know what you have missed. But only from my side I, I know. That is the reason I am continuously working. So please put up with me. Please put up with me. And I can be sure, not only from my experience, thousands of people who experience, it helps you. It helps you. And you know already you had a glimpse. That is why you are here again. If you have not had a glimpse in ASP, will you be here again? Someday, in three days you would have had a glimpse. Either in the mental clarity. Nitya. Nitya is the clarity in the thinking system. Or Dhyana means the peace or the joy. Peace or the silence in the meditations. Or Ananda, the bliss after that program. In some one layer you are helped. That is why you are here again. Am I right? Anybody who says I have not been helped in all, any of this way, you will not be here naturally. Naturally you are here because you are helped in some one layer. So now, again I am trying to work a little more deeply. That is the reason we need to put our whole effort. Even when you have the rest, when I let you go to the room and sleep, try to reduce the sleeping hours. Try to reduce just for these four days. When you go to your room, just try to sit and relax. Try to sit and chat with your roommates. Chat and tell some jokes and share something. And try to avoid sleeping. Try to avoid next person sleeping. <laughs> try to avoid you sleeping and try to avoid next person sleeping. <laughs> Next person's sleeping. Naturally, everybody will be awake. Alright, now we will enter into this physical body. Let me narrate how this is going to happen when you leave this physical body. That how the death happens when you leave the physical body. 
actually a different kind of heat starts rising in your body different kind of heat it is not the temperature actually different kind of heat sort of a energy expression i can say before the uh, light gets fused then so the piece for the money no you can see it just sparks and it comes to maximum peak only then it dies same way your whole being comes to the peak your being comes to the peak before you leave the body so your whole body is flooded with energy for that one moment and immediately the tremendous pain rises with it please listen here carefully because we are going to do the same thing now we are going to do the same thing now we are going to bring the same effect now and create a gap and insert this peacemaker we are going to consciously do the same thing which will happen at the time of death please be very clear what will happen at the time of death in your physical layer the same thing we are going to do now from the guts from the swanishtana the energy flow will start for one moment you will be flooded with energy and next moment the tremendous pain tremendous pain will start as if each every part is being pressed every pore is pressed tremendous pain will start then the being will start moving towards the upper body towards the upper body the being will start moving whether through mouth if you have lived only eating 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 naturally it leaves through the mouth if you have lived only enjoying through eyes then it moves through the eyes if you have if you have lived actually generally it goes only through mouth or the eye but because you don't use other senses too much you use only the mouth and the eyes if you use too much of sex too much of the if you used your whole life only for sex too much of sex then energy leaves through the abana through the lower holes so usually people leave only through the mouth and eyes and when the energy is moved from the physical body when the when it is moved out of the body only then it, it enters into the pranic layer only then it enters into the pranic layer about the pranic layer when we work on the pranic layer we will see